this video here, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to create a connection profile within RM Shell 5. So a connection profile is something like a remote desktop protocol, VNC, or a restricted web browser that you can access via the RM Shell 5 home screen. So the very first thing you need to do is go up to the switch users button at the top of the home screen. And you'll want to log into either an engineer or administrator account uh, so that you can have access to a profiles management tool. So go ahead and type in your password and click OK. And now you'll see a profiles management icon under the application header. So go ahead and click that. And then you'll want to click the new profile button at the top. And this is going to give you a list of all available profiles that you can create within RM Shell. So by default, Microsoft RDP and VNC are always available within RM Shell. And the Emerson, DRDC, Raritan, desktop sharing, and the web browsers are available via additional license packages. So in this case, we're going to create a Microsoft RDP profile. So we'll select it and click OK. And from here, you can see a couple accessible settings options that you'll want to fill in. So the very first one would be the profile name. So in this case, we're going to call it RDP to host. Let's keep it simple. The next thing you would need to know is the IP address of the host machine or server that you're wishing to access. In my case, 172.18.12.72. And then you have an option to enter in the username and password of that Windows machine should you desire to do so. This allows it so that when you click the icon within RM Show, it'll automatically access that Windows machine without prompting you for a password every single time. So I'll go ahead and enter my credentials. And there are other settings menus for connection and display settings and a couple of different advanced features as well, but that's not required in a lot of cases. Um, so you can disregard those during most initial creations. So once you have your name, your IP address, and potentially a username and password, you click apply changes, and then you'll want to go back to the RM Show home screen. Once you go back to the home screen, you'll see now there is a nice green box created under this profiles header. That's my RDP connection to my host machine. So if I go ahead and click that, it should connect me back to my Windows machine, wherever that may be, Windows Server or Windows, Windows 10 or whatever it may be. So you can see now I'm operating a Windows machine. I've established my RDP connection. So you should see at the top of any of your connection profiles, there should be a little green box that you can actually move around on the top of the screen. This is basically your portal back to RM Shell. So if I click this, it's gonna have a little drop down menu. It's gonna tell me the name of my profile. I'm gonna have the ability to access an on screen keyboard here, a task switcher if I wanna sort of minimize this profile, or if I have additional sessions open, uh, maybe an RDP session and maybe I have a web browser session as well. I'd be able to see both of those and easily switch between profiles here. There's also a button to go back to the RM Shell home screen here, or I can get out of this entirely. And I can click this again and actually close out of the profile altogether and just go back to the RM Shell home screen and kill that particular session. So that was a very quick tutorial on how to create a profile within RM Shell. And so that would be more or less the same when you're creating a VNC profile or an Emerson DRDC, uh, and a little bit easier if you're actually creating a restricted web browser profile. All you really need is a web address in that case. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for our next video, and have a great day.